my channel. Today I'm here to show you how to do this look which is inspired by the musical Wicked, the story of the Witches of Oz. This is a musical I saw a few times when I was living in London. I really enjoyed it. It's number one musical in London and in Broadway as well many times and it's literally amazing for the background, for all the lightings and the costumes and the wigs as well. Here you can see the poster of the musical, which is the fight between the green and the white witch. You can see the costumes as well, how amazing they are, and all the wigs. I went there to watch it, I think three times. I really, really loved it. Uh, if you didn't, please watch it. Uh, it's an amazing musical, it's really worth the price. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I leave you to the makeup. See you soon, bye! To start with, I'm gonna block my eyebrows with some print stick. I did about three layers to really stick them to the skin. Then I covered them with orange corrector and just powdered everything in place. Now I'm gonna color my face with green aqua color by Makeup Forever. You can use any green body painting color. And also here I did about three layers to have a very solid color. You want to leave a gap for the lips and the eyes, we're going to do later on. And also you want to color your neck, because this is going to give more continuity to your costume. Moving to eyes, I'm going to apply a black casual pencil to the inner waterline, top and bottom. As a primer for the eyelid, I'm going to use a black gel liner, this is Black Track from MAC and I'm going to apply on all the mobile eyelid and also at the bottom. I am going to use as a nice shadow this mineral one from MAC, it's called Cinderfella, it's a mineralized eyeshadow, you can use it dry or wet, it's really really beautiful, really glam as you can see, and really sparkly, it's even more sparkle um, if you apply it wet, you can see now I'm applying it wet and it really changes the um, sparkliness of the shadow. Now, to have a more feline cut look, I'm gonna uh, make a cut eye shape with a liquid eyeliner. So you can see I'm making a really elongated shape and then I'm filling the gap with some black eyeshadow and then liquid eyeliner. Then the part of the skin which is left uncovered, I'm gonna cover it with the green body painting I used for the rest of the face. And I'm also gonna make the liner more perfect. Now it's time for the um, eyebrows and I'm gonna do them with some black eyeshadow on a flat small angled brush. I'm um, trying to reproduce the um, Theodora eyebrows, so which is the witch of the Wizard of Oz and as lashes I'm applying the iconic lashes by House of Lashes. I'm applying some mascara at the bottom lashes and now it's time for some contouring. We used to do in a normal way with some brownie shades, this time I'm gonna use a light blue. So I applied in the middle of the nose and I blend it with a mini beauty blender. On the top of the cheeks we do the same, we apply the product and we blend it. Also in the middle of the forehead and we also blend it with the beauty blender. So it's the same process we do when we contour in a beauty way. To make the chin more pronounced and angled, I'm also going to highlight the center part of the chin and repeat the same process on the other part of the face. For the darker part of the contouring process, I'm going to use this bottle green eyeshadow from MAC. So I really want to make my face really really slim and pointed and angled. That's why I'm going to make all this part very sharp. So I'm, it's like I'm going to cut the face. Imagine you want to um, you wanna do like a triangle. So that's why we're going to shade all this part of the face. You can see I did like a triangle shape from the ears to the chin. So I'm adding more products and now I'm moving to the nose which I'm doing also more slim and pointed. 
I'm also gonna add some wrinkles and expressions lines on my face so I'm gonna follow my real ones I'm just gonna highlight in them the one on the sides of the uh, mouth and also we're gonna blend it a little bit I'm gonna add a beauty spot and also we're gonna add some wrinkles on the top of the eyebrows so it's gonna look like the witch is always um, upset if we can say so now we finish these lines I'm also gonna add some lines on the forehead always following my natural ones remember you don't want to do any flat uh, and precise line uh, and also I'm gonna do the chin more pointed now it's time for the lips I'm gonna do the um, shape with the bit red I am um, lip liner from Ben Nye. You can use any red lip pencil. I am now applying some glitter glue on the lips and sticking some red glitters on the top. And you have the finished look. If you liked the video, please thumb it up. Follow me on the other social, you find all the links in the end of this video. I'll see you to the next one. Bye bye, happy Halloween!